Luna and I are going to go and get the trailer ready because today is the day we go to pick up our kiln. Right, Luna? Yeah, so we got to get the trailer ready because it comes in a pallet. And then we're going to have to get these boxes out of the way and get that stuff all moved into the shed and uh, get the kiln set up in the corner here. There's still a lot of work to do to get it plugged in and get it uh, vented properly and all that, but that's the game plan for today. Get the kiln. Got my hitch here for the trailer. This is pretty handy. Use it on the tractor uh, to move trailers around sometimes, but I need it on the truck now. Here we are at the Clay Art Center to pick up our kiln. Got the kiln loaded up on the pallet, all the extra stuff in the back, and strapped down, and now we're ready to head home. There's the kiln. Got the trailer in the garage. It was very wet on the way home, so had a tarp on there, and the box didn't get too wet, so I think we're good. We're just going to let everything dry out and then we will unbox it. Petra is very excited for her kiln. We've got our rolling stand for the kiln. Kiln shelves. I think there's assorted feet for the kiln itself. Oh, no, that's not the stand. The stand is, I don't know, we'll unbox it. Got our corner cleared out, and now we're going to unbox. So we'll open the kiln, and then I think the stand is on the counter behind me. But we'll take a look at the kiln first, and then look at the stand, get it set up. Super cool. Yeah, so we were told we got to open it up enough to look inside. Okay, we got all the stuff out. Nice and cool. Three inch walls there. Keep as much heat inside as possible. Looks so so we're going to open up this box here. This is a rolling stand for the kiln so that we'll be able to maneuver it if we need to, which will come in handy because it is rather heavy, of course. Too bitty. Yeah, about 250 pounds. So. It's heavier. All right. Upside down. Of course. If you open it, you have to open it upside down. <laughs> well, hey, that's pretty slick, though. So little unwieldy. Okay. Cool. I feel good about that. That's nice and stout. like the fact that these things are... I built my little rolling rack and it's not level on the garage floor but it's because the, the garage, garage floor, floor is not level. <laughs> Here you go. Something made professionally that has a little wiggle. I feel like they're four feet and I only have three of these. Oh. One in the box. Oh, that's all right. Oh, yeah, we can put the lid in there. Okay. So 
it has these nice latches to where you can um, take the layers apart. So of course it says set it on a nice clean surface, which mm, or a flat clean surface. So we have the flat, you know, garage door, not so much the clean. So cardboard boxes come in handy. I like how they spray film everything. Yeah, it's packed really well. That's nice. That's very cool. So the two middle segments are attached to the control unit, which you can take off, but we're going to try to just unhook from the base right now and see if we're strong enough between the two of us to pick up these middle units. So it's just this latch here. There's one on each side that unhooks it. I was able to take the lid off. There's just a pin that goes through here. I'll show putting it back on, but there's a pin that goes through here that had a couple uh, eye, or what do you call those? Little clips go through the holes. E clips? They're not, they're not E clips. Anyway, anyway. They're cutie little clips. Cutie little clips. And we'll show them later. But you pull those out, you can pull that rod out, and then the lid doesn't latch down because um, you can leave it open a little bit while you're kilning if you need to. But that just picked up set over there nicely. So we're going to set this in the other box and then get the base set up. All right. We've got the kiln base set on the little rolling stand here. Had to vacuum it out a little bit. They drilled holes for us there. And a couple in the top for our enviro vent. So we're going to punch a hole out through the wall here and be able to run a vent, uh, vent the kiln when it's going. Since we're in the garage, I've read some things about the gases from the kiln not being the best. Well, they're not the best to breathe, but they're also not the best for car paint. So. We're just going to vent them, and uh, now we're going to set the main body of the kiln down on it. Important safety tip when you're pulling stuff out of your trailer and it's not hooked up on the tongue. Got to be careful because it's going to tip, <laughs> which I knew but didn't think about. So all is well. So this rod this goes through there, and then these little, whatever they're called, clips. <laughs> Bobby pin clips. Pin. And there you go. Kill not a cook. All right, there she is. That is a um, very cool little sight. So uh, there needs to be 18 inches on all sides when it's running, but that's the benefit of having these um, casters here. We can just roll it back into the corner when we're not using it and um, have more space since we park our suburban in here when the trailer's not in and that kind of thing so that'll be great mm -hmm.